What's up, what's up? It's me again. I'm back with another video today. I want to talk about why you should not become a day trader, why you should not pursue day trading. Um, the reason is, there's plenty of reasons why you should not get into day trading. If, if you have the attitude, if you have the mindset of treating trading as a hobby or just dabbling or just trying out trading for fun and seeing where it goes, you will will 100% well, not 100%. As a trader, you can never say anything's 100%. But 99.9% of the time, you will not succeed. You will lose money with that attitude. With that attitude, you will not have the intensity. You will not have the grit. And you're just going to be losing money over a period of time until you eventually blow up. In reality, successful traders are committed to this craft. They see this and just for some reason, they catch a bug. They connect with it on a deep level and see, and they're able, they're able to consistently put in the effort to see through any challenges and setbacks and losses that will inevitably happen for everyone. Everyone is going to struggle in the beginning. And if you're just treating it as a hobby, you're just treating it just to see where it goes, once it gets hard, and it is going to get hard, once it gets hard, you will give up. And that's just the reality. So that's the first thing I wanted to note. Uh, but you know, there's also a lot of you know things to consider when getting into trading as well. It's like it takes a lot of time uh, to master. It takes a lot of time to get to that profitability. So if you're not willing to accept that it may take multiple years, up to five years, six years, seven years to even start seeing profits, um, then it's likely not for you. Also, you're going to be you know putting in a lot of time investment and financial investment into something that's not guaranteed return. There's no guarantee you will ever make money doing this. And if you're okay accepting that, then sure, go ahead. But if you're not okay accepting that that, is a re that could be a reality, you could put in work for five years into trading and consistently lose money. And by year five, you're still red and you're out like X amount of dollars and five years of time and energy that you could have put elsewhere. So. If you're not able to accept that as a potential reality, then this is not for you. Then this is absolutely not for you. Um, what else? You're also, you know, with that time investment, with that time investment, um, you're gonna be, ha you're gonna have to sacrifice a lot in your life. You're gonna have to sacrifice a lot. Um, social life, you're gonna have to sacrifice a social life, friends, um, relationships, if you're in a relationship, time with family all of that takes up a lot of time and um, in order to in order to allocate enough time to become a successful trader you're going to need to sacrifice those other areas and this also includes career as well um, you may not you may not be able to put as much time in your other career um, because you want to use that time to invest in a day trading so you know that could also be a factor and also you could potentially be losing out on some career opportunities. For me, I was fresh out of college and I had some career opportunities. I had job offers, uh, decent job offers that I could have taken, but it would have interfered with my trading career. It would have interfered. I would have had to quit trading because the job requires me to be in the office at 8 a.m. and leaving at 5 p.m., leaving at 6 p.m. Um, you know, even though you know it, those jobs would have paid well, um, for me, I didn't think it was worth it. I didn't think it was worth it. I think the fruits of trading, the potential that trading that can offer me is going to be you know, 50x, 100x of whatever I could get at a job in benefits. Uh, not just financially, but you know, you know, emotionally, like su being successful. You know, it's something that I truly want to be successful at. And you know, freedom, time freedom, financial freedom, uh, freedom from boss. Uh, from having a boss, you know, all of those things you have to take into account as well. Um, but really, it comes down to, you know, who, what type of person you are. Are you somebody who's going to be able to put in that time investment um, and really, or really connect with trading and become obsessed with it? Because every single successful trader I know who I've ever researched or, you know, studied or met in person Every single successful trader was obsessed when they first started, obsessed. Every minute of the day, they're studying, every minute, reviewing everything that they can get their hands on. And so that's the level of intensity that you need to have to become a successful, tra successful trader. And if you don't have that, 
if, if you're just gonna be like, I'm just gonna try this out for a year and see what happens, don't even try, don't even get into it. You're going to lose money. You are absolutely going to lose money and it's just gonna be a waste of time, a waste of resources, and a waste of other opportunities that you could put your time into. So, uh, what else? What other things um, that you, other reasons why you shouldn't get into trading? Uh, also, have just the emotional roller coaster. Are you somebody who is able to handle the ups and downs of trading? You know, there's going to be some days where you you go to you put in your time and you lose money. There's going to be weeks where you put in your time and you lose money. There's going to be months where you can't make anything happen. You can't make anything work. Are you going to be? Are you going to be emotionally resilient enough? to withstand the losses and see through to the other end. Um, are you, or are you somebody who, you know, once one bad thing happens, you know, everything in your mind, everything in your body just starts to crumble. You're emotionally just start to crumble. And those people, you know, they tend to revenge trade. They tend to not accept the loss. Even the one smallest red day, they'll sit there all day trying to punch the keys, punch the keys until they're green. Um, you know, is that is that you, or um, or are you somebody who's more emotionally resilient, emotionally aware, more grounded with yourself? Uh, so that's another thing to keep in mind. Uh, but you know, really, you should only get into day trading if you're really serious about it. And I think that's the crux of this video. Um, there's a lot of people who just see trading as either get rich quick, or maybe by some of the ads that they see, or that it's very easy. But in reality. 99.9% .9 of the people, it takes years to be successful and so many hours, thousands of hours. I think I've, I've done a calculation. I've been trading about four years, done a calculation. If I count in all the hours that I've ever traded or studied or reviewed tape or even thinking about you know trading, it's over 5,000 hours. It's over 5,000 hours and I'll, I'll likely be at the 10,000 hour mark around year seven or year eight. So um, you know, 10,000 hours to become a master, that definitely applies to trading. Um, and you can't really speed that up. You know, you can't learn trading overnight. And, you know, the faster, the more the, the more work you put in, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be uh, more successful. Uh, it also, you know, counts with, you know, the, how are you studying? You know, how are you studying? Are you just kind of just half... Uh, half willy-nilly just kind of looking at the chart and not really studying your film not really looking through every single reviewing every single day in your film not talking to other traders not um, forming little study sessions there's so many things that you can do but you know you have to be committed to it you have to be committed to the craft and that's the only way that you become a successful trader so thank you guys for tuning into this video if you guys thought this was interesting or helpful please hit that thumbs up button for me and if you are new viewer consider subscribing i'd love to have you part of the community you can also check out the links down in the description and i'll catch you guys in the next video all right peace